Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the PEMCO number 2113 BSP UN. That's what this is. This is a this is a door bottom, is what it is. It's a U-shaped door bottom. It is uh, relatively unusual uh, in the sense that it is a door bottom, which means weather stripping, generally for sealing an exterior door, but it's really made for an inch and three-eighths thick door. You can use it for an inch and three-quarter thick door, but it would be more typical for an inch and three-eighths door because this bottom leg is a bit shorter. So the 2113 is representative of this item and its dimensions and its insert. Let's tackle the dimensions first. The overall height of what would be the interior, about an inch and a sixteenth, they say. I'd say that would be accurate. And then it would be, up, therefore, an inch and three quarter overall height because you have 11 sixteenths worth of that insert, okay, 11 sixteenths. They have one and nine thirty second of an inch, so just heavy on inch and a um, just heavy on inch and a eighth is what that would be. No, sorry, just heavy on inch and a quarter. Forgive me. Yep, so right in there. This happens to be a three foot piece, available in three foot and four foot lengths. You can trim it down in the field uh, to suit your requirements. This is a vinyl insert, and that's what the V in the part number means. And since we're talking about the V, the UN means it's unnotched. There would be this item available in, an, uh, in a notched version, which literally the vinyl itself would have notches in it, staggered. Okay, And you, say, you might say, well, why would I want to cut holes in my vinyl seal? Well, you wouldn't for an exterior door that's supposed to seal from the wind, weather, etc., but if it was a application such as a hotel room uh, and notched, unnotched, you know, maybe not the 2113, but when you have a hotel room where you have an air handler, air conditioning, heating unit on the inside of the room, you need to have a source of fresh air and notching that seal is going to close the bottom of the door off, and, but it's also going to provide a source of fresh air. So that's why you would order it notched. That'd be pretty much the only time when you needed airflow to come through. Um, now, the BSP, that stands for Black Suede Powder Coat. The images down below do make it look, do make the black look a little brown, but, you know, to the eye, it's black. That insert is certainly black, and that matches pretty well right there. Okay. So it does look like it's quite black, um, you know, and I can tell you to my eyes, I would not question, depending on how the light hits it, it looks a very light tint of brown, but it's only how the light reflects on that unit. So this is going to be BSP black suede powder coat. It's going to be a powder coated type finish. It's black. They say suede. I think they use the term suede from a marketing perspective. Um, just to, you know, if someone were to say, well, that's got a little bit of texture to it. It does, a little bit. It's, 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 it's all but indetectable. But that would be their way to say, well, we've called it suede. Okay, Suede's got a little texture to it. Um, and it is indeed powder coated. The good news about powder coating is that um, and it, that's an incredibly durable type finish. Powder coating is known to be excessively durable um, and would be very appropriate for an exterior application. Uh, let's switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at some of the supporting documentation. Okay, so this is the item that we are looking at here. 2113 BSP Vinyl Unnotched. That's a cross section. There are those dimensional properties. So, you know, the question is what should my undercut be? Well, I'd say probably three quarter inch. You might be able to get that to go a little bit less Oh, pardon me, pardon me, five-eighths of an inch, not three-quarter, five-eighths. You might be able to stretch that to nine-sixteenths, but I wouldn't really want to force this material to fold over too much. You do want it to be enough to seal, but not so much that it prematurely will compromise this vinyl. Okay, You're going to want to be really sure over time um, that you're not 
forcing too much of this uh, into a space that's too small, meaning your undercut is, is too small. It will fatigue this material. Exposure to ultraviolet will fatigue vinyl as well, like sunlight. Um, and then be mindful, you don't want to leave anything on the inside of the door. You have this installed for three, four, five years, and you leave a shoe underneath here, and you do that a couple of times, you'll certainly run the risk of tearing some of this vinyl. Vinyl is just a, you know, a builder's quality sort of material used for an insert. Uh, there, it just happens to be the insert available with the 2113. Unnotched, we talked about that, black suede. They say the screw, the fasteners are stainless steel. My magnet tells me that they're definitely not made of stainless steel. Um, that's coming out of the uh, manufacturer's catalog. We'll leave it there, but they're, these screws are just steel in a complementary finish. Sealing the gap under the door. Door shoes are often used to provide protection for the bottom of the door. Can be used on a fire rated door. It wouldn't, it would be very unusual if you had. While inch and three eighths fire rated doors do exist, um, mm, I'm now second guessing that. I believe they do exist. I believe they technically exist. I don't know the last time I've run into one. Uh, air infiltration, sound seal rated, sound seal tested. There's a link here to the printable cut sheet just the same dimensional properties. There's a link here to the manufacturer's page. And let's take our 2113 and copy that and click on the link to the manufacturer's page. Okay, here it is. Then we can pull up the full product catalog and from that full product catalog, we can do a find function for 2113. And we'll get to the page eventually where that item is listed. There we go. And that is showing us that we can do other fit. Well, there's there's additional information here that's that's nice to know. And here's what I mean. So, A, mill aluminum, BSP, black suede powder coat, D for dark bronze, G for gold anodized, available in three foot and four foot lengths. And this would be the replacement insert EV94 BL would be what you would search for in our site for that replacement insert. And there it is. Um, so additional information is also listed there. What's nice about the product catalog is it will show you the other items that go along with it. You have an inch and three-eighths door and you want a U-shaped door bottom, well it's the 20, it would be the 2203 BSPV. Okay. If it's an exterior door that swings in or out, doesn't matter. A drip cap would be nice. If you can integrate a drip cap into your application, that's known to help drive the water away very effectively. And in this catalog, you'll be able to scroll up, scroll down, find many variations of door bottoms. So it'd be a very handy resource. That link to the manufacturer's page will allow you to review not only all of the PEMCO products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website and again back to that full product catalog. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Okay so very typical and common item. Uh, black is a relatively new finish. It's probably been gaining traction. It's 2020 right now. It's probably been gaining traction since 2018. It's a classic finish. If you went back 120 years you're gonna find black as an option for hardware. Uh, there's no doubt it's you know, it's a finish that will probably, will certainly fall out of, you know, popularity at some point, but it might have the staying power to stick around for a while, you know, you know, a couple of decades, that sort of thing. Okay, there you go. Screws are included, those steel screws that I had said to you earlier in a complimentary finish. They look like they're number, they look like they are number six by five eighths. Okay, and again, only three foot and four foot slotted holes are here to help you adjust for a sill that's not level or maybe a door that's not plumb. When you're pre-drilling those holes, you'll want to have a slotted hole so that you can tailor that because too much seal is no good, too little is completely the same as not having anything at all. Um, and be mindful when you're pre-drilling that hole for the screws that that drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit. So maybe use a center punch um, and get it fitted right. Maybe go to the center of your, center of your slotted hole so that you can tailor that to account for conditions um, on the opening. PEMCO, the name is synonymous with the broadest available 
array of weather stripping products from any other manufacturer. No one has more product line options than Pemco. So if you deal with weather stripping, you'll want to uh, be familiar with their catalog or at least know where to find it. So maybe bookmark it. Any questions on the Pemco 2113 BSP VUN or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.